guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige or Paintalane8 here on YouTube. Whatever you want to call me, just call me something. Um, so for today's video, it's going to be a thrifting haul. I have this big bag of Goodwill stuff. I'm going to take it out of the bag and hide the bag because my cats want to play with the bag. So one moment. Okay, so for this video, I did go to two different Goodwills um, and picked up quite a few pieces. I wanted to get some more. Um, my style is very casual. I like just striped shirts, plain shirts, like, um, yeah, just really simple, um, and I actually filmed this as a in the dressing room, so what I did was is I filmed every single thing I tried on, and then I'm gonna show you, then I would show you what I got, however, the day that I went thrifting, I didn't know I was going thrifting, so I wore a pair of pants that I wasn't super comfortable in, and also I didn't have a bra on, so in the videos, it's pretty obvious I don't have Ron, and you can basically see the entirety of my boobs. Um, so I decided to go ahead and not put that in here. But if that is something you are interested in in the future, be sure to let me know, and uh, I'll start doing that. I'm gonna show you what I got from the second Goodwill first, because the stuff I got from the first Goodwill is on the bottom of the clothes pile, and I don't want to take a bunch of time to get that out. So um, before I start, what I typically look for is just um, I wear a size large to extra large depending on the fit and the brand and technically my body is a size large that's just what it is um but i prefer a size extra large just to give myself some room because i'm not super comfortable um with tighter clothes and so a large usually fits me quite perfectly um but i like to have a little bit of wiggle room so the first thing i got from there was this extra large um, striped v-neck it's from express um, and it just goes down and it's a little bit longer on the butt um, as you can see to cover that up so you can wear it with leggings and then it's a three-quarter length sleeve which I love um, it's my favorite type of shirt I usually don't wear v-necks but I kind of um, was inspired so I got a few actually so super scandalous I know and like I said yeah I was from express so this one um, my favorite clothing brand is probably Old Navy I would say um just because their stuff fits me really well and it's really casual and cute and you can go in there and find just really simple clothes it doesn't have a bunch of weird stuff on it or anything so this one is originally from Old Navy and it is this white with blue stripe and it is a full length um long sleeve and it's also in an extra large i think everything i got was an extra large um but yeah i think this is really cute and i can wear it under a vest or um with jeans or even with shorts in the summer it's so lightweight i just roll the sleeves up obviously um so i really like that one the next thing i got was i had there were so many things i probably tried on about 10 things from old navy um and then just narrowed it down because i didn't want to buy all of goodwill out of their old navy um and also my cat is behind me playing anyway so the next thing i picked up was this gray v-neck crazy um i like this one because it covered has a little bit extra sleeve on it it's not like the typical girl sleeve that cuts really tight up into the armpit those are just really uncomfortable to me um for a few reasons and so i figured i could wear this um with like a denim jacket over top of it and just leggings and some boots and be good as gold so the next thing no surprise here um i was kind of on the fence with this one um it's also from old navy and it is another striped shirt but this one is a lot longer it kind of goes down and has the slits on the side and i originally wasn't going to get it and then i explained to will i didn't like it because it was so long and he was like that's not necessarily a bad thing. You just wear it over leggings and some high boots and you got yourself a little outfit. So I was like, okay, because this is honestly, all these things are stuff I would honestly buy from Old Navy, even if they weren't at Goodwill. So I was like, I really do need to get it. And then the last thing I got from the first Goodwill, and this is different for me. Um, I tried it on and the arms are a little bit tight, but the way I imagine myself wearing this is with, once again, like a denim jacket over it and some leggings, but it's this shirt. I don't, I'll read the brand in a second. It's got these arms and then it comes down pretty long and then it just has this like, uh, I don't know how, what you would call that. But this is from the brand Dantel, Dentele, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I imagine wearing this one. Um, and yeah, so it's everything I got from the first Goodwill store. All those shirts were about $5. Um, and honestly, at Old Navy, these shirts probably would have ran about 
$12 a piece, if not more. Um, so getting them for about four something each is actually a really good deal. Plus I had $5 off um, and I ended up using that on here. So overall, all five shirts ended up costing 20 bucks, which was $4 a piece, which is a super good deal. And these are things I would genuinely buy, like new at Old Navy. And then I got them um, gently used at Goodwill. So it's really cool. So the next one, these two items are much different. So these items were a little bit different. Um, I first picked up this maroon shirt thing. Let me see if I can find where the head is. Um, it is a turtleneck. So the neck is like super long and then you just bunch it up obviously. Um, and then you have the actual shirt looks like this and then it's a bat winged um so the ar arms look really short but they're not um it just goes about three quarter length and it's like a bat wing and then the body cinches in two which i kind of wish that just flowed uh, but i'm also okay with that like it's not a big deal also you can't be super picky at goodwill i feel like you can be picky of like i don't like that so i'm not gonna get it but you can't be picky of like oh this is really cute maybe they should do this like you know what i mean like it's goodwill what can you do so yeah i just got this and then the last item which i am the most excited about i saved the best for last really is this green sweater tooth hound i think it's what it's called um it's yeah you can see it on the camera it's the sweater and it has a pocket on it which is the coolest thing and it's kind of a thicker material um and then it's just a long sleeve and then um this sleeve is not rolled up i think it one is yeah but i'm just gonna roll them up to be about here um i think it's gonna be super cute with some dark wash jeans and some black heeled booties that i have uh for christmas i just think this is so sweet and warm and just so festive so yeah i got both of these things for this one was 4.49 um i believe the other one was two yeah, they're both 4 49 um, and I didn't get any deals on those. I think neither one of them were the tag of the day that day. But yeah, um, that is everything I got. So that probably cost about $30 total um, for seven shirts, um, which is amazing. That would round them out to what? Less than $5 a piece still? Um, but yeah, that is like really awesome. And um, there were plenty of other things I tried on. And like I said, I would love to show you. However, I wasn't wearing a bra that day. Also, my cat is being crazy and deciding right now is playtime. So I'm so sorry if you've heard noises this whole time, but she's decided it is very much so playtime. So yeah, um, if you would like me to do the in the dressing room in the future, just obviously with a bra on, I have the footage from everything I tried on still, um, but I don't think I'm gonna insert it just because I just don't want that all over the internet. Um, and I think I could handle it, but I think other people couldn't. So yeah, that's it. That's all I have for today. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.